What's up YouTube, Xbox and I bring you guys back with another Doodle World video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about chaining. Now, chaining is a very powerful mechanic in Doodle World that could almost let players get anything they want. But I bet not a single one of you knows exactly how chaining works. But if I'm wrong and you guys don't learn a single thing in this video about chaining, let me know in the comments down below. Now, I should probably start this uh, video off by explaining what chaining actually is and it's actually really simple just knock out one species of doodle repeatedly if you knock out any other species or catch anything at all your chain will break and you'll lose on all the benefits what are the benefits you ask so there is actually quite a lot so there is an increased encounter rate increased misprint rate increased hidden trait rate increased skin rate and an increased star rate I'm going to start things off by explaining how the encounter rate works. So for every 10 doodles you add to your chain, which is the same as knocking out 10 doodles, you add a 10% chance to that encounter rate of the doodle. For example, Moss has a base encounter rate of 1%. If you were to chain 10 Mosses for the 11th point on, you have a 11% chance of encountering Moss. That will keep going up until you get a 50% uh, encounter rate. So the uh, encounter rate caps at 50%. Moving on to the mechanics behind the misprint benefit. First off, misprints have a base encounter rate of 1 in 4,000, but for every 10 you add to that chain, you add 1 to the numerator. For example, if you have a chain of 60 mosses, you are adding 6 to that numerator. So now you have a 7 in 4,000 chance of encountering a misprint moss. And there is actually no cap to this, so you could theoretically chain your way to a guaranteed misprint moss. As for hidden traits that have a 1 in 200 chance of appearing, for every 20 you add to that chain, you add 1 to the numerator. So going back to the 60 chain we had for moss earlier, using that, we now have a 4 in 200 chance of encountering a hidden trait moss. This benefit also stacks indefinitely, so you can also chain your way to a guaranteed uh, hidden trait moss. Now the mechanics behind the skin benefit for chaining work a little bit differently. Skins have a base in, uh, encounter rate of 1 in 1000, but for every doodle you... Um, chain reduces that 1000 by 1 so going back to our 60 moss chain we were using as an example with that chain we now have a 1 in 900 chance of encountering a moss with a skin now this benefit does not have a cap uh sorry does have a cap so when you uh reach a chain of 900 you have a uh chance of 1 in 100 um, of finding a skin. So that is the uh, highest you can go. Now the mechanic when it comes to stars in chaining work a little bit differently than the others. Instead of increasing the rate of getting better stars periodically, you have breakpoints that remove lower stars from appearing. So for example, a chain of 25 all doodles you find will at least be two stars and then Again, at 50, the lowest amount of stars that you could find is 3, and then capping at 75, the lowest amount of stars you could find at that point is 4 stars. And for those wondering about tints, tints are actually not affected at all by chaining. They have a base encounter rate of 1 in 500, and you cannot influence that whatsoever. Now for Mythical Doodles, their mechanics work pretty much entirely differently. Mythical Doodles have a base encounter rate of 1 in 800, but for every Mythical Doodle you find, it divides that encounter rate by your chain. So finding one Glubby, your encounter rate is still 1 in 800. Find two Glubbies, your encounter rate is now 1 in 400. Now this trend continues until you get a uh, chain of 6, at which point your encounter rate for Mythicals is roughly 1 in 133. Now, there you have it, uh, a complete guide on chaining, all confirmed by Wish. So if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, put that post notification bell, and let me know in the comments if this helped you guys. But um, yeah guys, that's it for today's video, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.